also begin in Lamu County and the insecurity situation there. Uh, Kevin Mutai is on standby. Kevin, a very good afternoon to you. We understand that yesterday evening, gunmen killed about two people in the Juhudi Marafa area. And of course, uh, uh, several houses were also torched. Just give us an idea, a picture of exactly what the situation there is on the ground. Well, good afternoon, Zainab. I understand uh, that tension is still arrived in uh, that particular area. That is in a village near Kibauni in Lamo County, following the death of two people who were attacked by gunmen uh, on Sunday evening uh, after the armed gunmen uh, advanced towards a residential area and started spraying bullets. Well, I'm being informed uh, that they also looted personal, item, uh, personal items before the authorities intervened. Remember, that particular uh, region is currently under tight security and tight sub security surveillance for that matter as uh, the security forces uh, join hands uh, to, to, to try and flush out these criminal elements who have been hiding in the vast Bonny forest. We are being informed that two people died yesterday, now adding a total number to 13 people who have uh, so far been killed. Uh, as a result of the spate of attacks that has been witnessed uh, in the region. Uh, remember the, just the other day four GSU officers were also killed by uh, suspected members of the Al-Shabaab group after the vehicle they were traveling in uh, you know, uh, there was, 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 was torched and the four officers died. Uh, that is as a result of the suspected militants using the RPG uh, grenade to, uh, to attack them. And of course, also uh, security officers promising uh, residents that now they've, uh, you know, they've discovered where the loopholes were and they've, uh, they have boots on the ground to ensure that they bring back sanity in that particular area. Residents have been calling on uh, the Inter Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi to at least go to the ground and assess the situation and arrest this particular matter once and for all. They went to the road this morning, protested against what is uh, being witnessed in that particular region, uh, feeling kind of insecure, but uh, being informed that uh, the security forces have been deployed, including the Kenya Police Reserves, who have also been uh, fully equipped to address this particular matter. This uh, kind of situation is being coordinated by the uh, regional Commissioner John Elungata, who is also the chairman of the security committee in the coast region. Elungata today summoned all the leaders from Lamu County and held a meeting uh, in his office here in Mombasa. We saw uh, Governor Fahim Tuaha accompanied uh, by members of parliament and the senator and the woman rep, among other key stakeholders in that particular region, to try and find a solution on how uh, to address uh, this Lamu insecurity in the region. Because what they're saying is that it is threatening the development that the government has installed in that particular region. Even residents have been uh, leaving their homes, you know, running for their safety, claiming even their businesses have been affected as a result of uh, these attacks. And this morning we interviewed the regional commissioner and this is what he had to say concerning yesterday's incident. There was a lot of uh, uh, tension in an area called Juhudi and Kamkunji in uh, in um, Majembeni location uh, and, and near Kibaoni. And um, in the process, a lot of people left their homestead as they came to, and came to Kibaoni, uh, where we have sheltered them in a school nearby. But by this morning, I think uh, a lot of them began going back, and we want to assure them that uh, uh, the military, as well as the police, uh, have put in place mechanisms to ensure that those who are really in isolated places are protected and that there should be no issue of, uh, you know, worry uh, because we have discovered where the loophole was and we have sealed it. There is a report that two people died yesterday. Indeed, there, there were two people who, who died yesterday in the process of escaping from those attackers. Like I've said, a loophole was... Uh, was, was identified, which the attackers uh, exploited, but that has not been sealed. That has now been sealed, and don't expect to see any further, any further incident of that nature, because you know we've emplaced soldiers as well as police in those areas. Okay. Any arrests so far? I think uh, I will get back to Lamu to find out whether there have been any arrests, but the country commission is here. I think when he gets back, we'll be able to update you. Okay. Yes.
Zainab, those spreading hate and incitement via social media platforms have also been put on notice as uh, they remain to be a target of the security forces in that particular region as they're also contributing uh, to people fleeing their homes for fear of being attacked. Uh, attacked. So uh, we are keeping an eye, a close eye on what is prevailing in that particular uh, area of the coastal belt and we'll uh, here on standby to inform the public and of course the, the country at large on what uh, is happening in Lamu. Back to you Zainab. All right, thanks, Kevin Mutai there with the latest regarding the state of affairs in 